Today's notes, we're going to write the equation of a line and then also graph uh, a linear equation or linear function. On the left in the table at the top, you have previously, in Algebra 1, wrote the equation of a line in terms of y equals mx plus b. You first plotted your intercept and then used slope to move and plot your next two points. We plot three so that um, if we made an error in plotting the second point, we would discover that error when plotting the third. This year, I'm going to show you a new form for writing the equation of a line, and that's the point-slope form. So given any point on a line in the slope, we can write the equation of that line. The equation in point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we take the given point, x1, y1, and we substitute that in the equation in addition to the slope. So in example number one, write the equation of a line whose slope is negative 3 halves, so there's my m, and it passes through the point 2, 4. So here's the x1, y1. Substituting into the equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We want to distribute on the right side and then add the 4. When I distribute, I get negative 3 halves x, and then negative 3 halves, the 2's cancel, plus 3. And you'll see me in my notes just add the 4 on the right side. So y equals negative 3 halves x plus 7. So once again, just to highlight, given the slope and the point on a uh, line, we can write its equation using the point-slope form. Number two is just a little bit different in the manner in which they give us the slope. Number two says to write an equation for the line containing 4, 2. So there's the x1, y1, and it's parallel to this line. Now parallel lines have equivalent slopes. So the first thing we have to do is solve this equation for y so that we can determine the slope. Distributing, we get 3x plus 21 and then add the 2 and y is equal to 3x plus 23. So my slope is going to be 3. So now I have y minus y1 which is 2 equals m times x minus x1, which is 4. So on, the right, so on the right side, we get 3x minus 12. And again, to get y by itself, I want to add 2. And we end up with 3x minus 10, equivalent to y, is my equation. Number 3, write an equation of a line that passes through the point. Now, I can use either point as my x1, y1. Anytime there is a 0, I'll use that point. Now I just need the m. So in this case, given the two points, I have to calculate the slope. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. Dividing, and we have a slope of 2. So substituting 0, 4 into y minus y1, I get y minus 4 equals m of 2 times x minus x1. So I end up with 2x minus 0, again plus the 4, and we end up with 2x plus 4 equivalent to y. In number 4, it says write an equation on the line with an x-intercept of 2 and a y-intercept of 3. Now as a point, the x-intercept of 2 is written as 2, 0. And the coordinates of a y-intercept of 3 would be 0, 3. If you struggle in writing the coordinates, you can sketch yourself a picture. So x-intercept of 2 means it's going to cross the x-axis at 2. And then a y-intercept of 3 means it's going to cross the y-axis at 3. And then you can write the coordinates. Uh, same idea as number 3. Um, they just, give, instead of giving us the coordinates right away, we had to write those out. So I need to calculate the slope. 
So slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is 3 over negative 2. If you look in your picture, you can see that you're going down 3 and over 2. So you can see that you do get the negative 3 halves. And then I'm going to pick as a point 0, 3. So I'm going to have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I have negative 3 halves x plus 0 and then plus the 3 because I have to add it over. So final answer, y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. Number 5, write the equation of a line that's perpendicular to the y-axis. Now the y-axis is a vertical line, so perpendicular would be an x equals, or I'm sorry, perpendicular to the y-axis would be a y equals line. y equals some number, as that's a horizontal line. Now the slope of this line, a horizontal line, the slope is equal to zero. So I can plug in using y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then when I do zero times this binomial, I get zero. Add the five, and we get y equal to five. You can also sketch it. So if I add the x-axis to this picture here, I'm going to plot the point negative 1 up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to go through that point, and it has to be perpendicular, so it's going to go here. And remember, the equation for a horizontal line is y equal to that y-intercept, and that y-intercept would be 5. So you can do it this way, or you can write the equation given that your slope was 0. Number 6, which ordered pair... Um, or ordered pairs below are solutions to the equation 3x plus y equals 7. Now what this is saying is if I triple the x and add the y, I get 7. So when I triple negative 1, I get negative 3, and when we add 10, we get 7. So negative 1, 10 is on the line. I can also solve this equation for y by subtracting 3x and then looking on my calculator, I can look at the table of values to see which points are on the line. So we should see negative 1, 10 on the table. But going back and doing it by hand, if I triple 3, I get 9, and when I add the negative 4, I get 5. So that's not going to be on my table of values. 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 plus a negative 5 is 7. So if I went to the calculator, I would see 4, negative 5 on the table of values. So that point is on the line. And to finish, when I triple 2, we get 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. So the point 2, 1 would be on my table as that's on the line. Number 7, we have a missing coordinate. So if the point 4k lies on the line who, whose equation is y equals 5x minus 2, find the value of k. So I'm going to substitute this y value for k. So I have k equal to, substitute 4 for the x, and k is equal to 5 times 4 minus 2. 20 minus 2 is 18. You could also type y equals 5x minus 2 on your calculator and look at your table of values. And when x is 4, you're looking for what is the respective y value. To graph linear equations, we first write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So we can determine the slope and the y-intercept. Once I know the m and the b, we plot the y-intercept and then use slope to graph two more points. Again, think of your b for the y-intercept as the beginning. That's where you begin. And then the m in slope is how you move.
from one point to the next. In example 8, we have to graph the following lines. I'm first going to graph x equals 3 and y equals 2. So when I graph x equals 3, that means it's going to cross the x-axis at 3. It's going to be a vertical line. y equals negative 2. I mean, it's going to cross the y-axis at negative 2. So here's y equals negative 2. Notice on this grid that's provided, you have your x and y axis labeled in addition to a scale. You should, anytime you're graphing or setting up a graph, include a scale as well as label your x and y axes. So palm parts A and B. In order to graph those, I need it in the form y equals. So when I solve for y, I get y equals 2 thirds x plus, not 9, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So starting at 3, my slope is 2 thirds, so I go up 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3, up 2, over 1, 2, 3, or starting here, down 2, left 1, 2, 3, down 2, 1, 2, down to 1, 2, 3. Now I'm plotting more than just three points as I'm just sketching the lines in by hand rather than opening the line tool. I want to label with the original equation, so 3y equals 2x plus 9. In B, I'm going to distribute first, so negative 2x plus 2, and if this is a positive 3, I need to have a negative 3 to subtract it, and I get y equals negative 2x minus 1. So starting at negative 1, on the y-axis, my y-intercept, I'm going to go down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. And draw the line. That line is y plus 3 equals negative 2 times x minus 1. Last example, write the equation of each line. Now I'm looking at both of the grids, and the one on the left, I can clearly see that this y-intercept is negative 1. The graph on the right, I cannot clearly see what that y-intercept is. I can't assume that it's one and a half. Is it 1.6? Is it 1.7? So since I cannot assume, I have to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. If I can clearly see the y-intercept, I can use y equals mx plus b. So looking at the graph, I'm going to count the slope. So here, if I go up 1, 2, 3 over 2, up 1, 2, 3 over 2, I have a slope of 3 halves. On the right, from here, I go, actually I'm going to pick a point that's an integer. So it looks like this one, this one, and each time I go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, so my slope is negative one half. So now to substitute the slope and intercept into the equation, I have y equals negative, or I'm sorry, positive three, I have a positive slope. Positive three halves x plus a negative one, which is simply y equals three halves x minus one. On the right side, since I can't see the B, I need a point, so I need to pick a point at which I'd like to use uh, to substitute into the point slope. And I'm going to use, again, this point because it has a coordinate of 0. This is 3, 0, so I'm going to do y minus 0 equals m times x minus, whoops, my slope is negative 1 half. So I want to substitute, why did I write B? This is the M, that's why I'm getting um, confused. Negative 1 half X minus X1 
which is 3. So 1 minus 0 is simply y equals negative 1 half x. And negative 1 half times a negative 3 is a positive 3 halves. So once again, when you can't clearly see the b, you have to use point slope. When you can clearly see, or if the intercept is an integer, we can use slope intercept form.